Hey guys, so today I'm doing a, a decently long clip, I guess, of uh, me doing my deadlifting today and my cleans. I do both of them 5-3-1 style. Right here I'm just uh, still warming up. It's uh, 75 pounds for a set of five for cleans. Uh, not a master of doing any of the Olympic lifting or whatever, but I like to mess around with it. Mostly just clean, so um, never really do snatches. Anyways, guys, my camera died uh, sometime during my deadlift, so I didn't get to film my whole workout today. Uh, I guess somebody forgot to charge their camera or something. Um, Right on my last set too, when I was about to do my uh, top set for for today, uh, the camera died, so I wasn't able to get that top set on the video or my front squats or my glute ham raises or anything after. Overall, I'd have to say that the workout was decent. Um, the weight wasn't as moving wasn't moving as well as I thought it would move, but I wasn't tired, um, didn't feel too tired or anything. Um, a little disappointed on my top set for the deadlift, but that's alright. I kind of expected after Monday having a tough workout and then uh, this being the week after a deload week, so next week I should come in a lot stronger than I did this week. Um, hopefully hitting um, uh, some decent PR next week at least. So as you can see I'm also doing um, jerks here. Uh, so it'd be like a full clean and jerk, I, I was doing um, on my fifth rep, I do the jerk, and I just kind of felt like messing around with it, just for the hell of it. I was like, you know what, today I'll do jerks, why not, whatever. Um, more towards the heavier weight, I uh, switched over to push press. I just find that since I'm still a newbie at these lifts, I have a lot easier of a time doing a push press than they do a jerk, um, because these are very technical lifts and they require a lot more um, technique which I'm still developing. Uh, at some point I'd like to switch over to completely just doing the Olympic lifting for at least a year. Um, just so I could really improve my technique on Olympic lifts and just to mess around with them, see what training like that's like. Uh, I'd have to um, find my programming for that too uh, and frequency because I know that with Olympic lifting it's a lot more about frequency rather than uh, rather than how much weight you're using or any of that and that's pretty much just so you get enough hours with the technique to get the technique down. So here I am starting to get into what to me feels heavier, uh, the 140. Now you can't see it from here, but the bumper plates are in kilograms. Um, I just go and round them up to if they were in pounds, but they're in kilograms. So you might see me saying that it's like, oh, it's 100 pounds or it's 140 pounds. No, it's a little less than that, but we're just going to round it up in this case because we're in America. And uh, we don't we don't mess around with uh, kilograms over here. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird that um, in this gym they have bumper plates, but they're not in pounds, which I find kind of weird. Um, seems everything else is in pounds. Well, except the you can see the competition plates uh, right next to me on my right, my left. Uh, but if you're watching the video, it's on it's on your right. Um, those are competition plates for powerlifting. Uh, yeah, this gym has a a monolift. 
that has a monolith, that has a bunch of squat racks, has two platforms for auto lifting or dead lifting, whatever. You can see the chains behind me. I really like this gym. Um, it's really good for power lifting and there's a bunch of strong guys in here. So, yeah. I kind of get intimidated bringing the video, <laughs> bringing the video camera in here. It's like, um, because pretty much everybody else in the gym can lift what I can lift in here. Uh, well, actually, they, they warm up with whatever I lift, but, you know, I like the gym. It's a good atmosphere for lifting. Um, people are pretty friendly here, I find. Um, and why I'm mentioning this is this is a different gym from the one I um, go to most often. Um, this gym is in Reno. And the other gym is in Carson City. I only come on to this gym to use the platforms just because I like to practice my Olympic lifting and I like to do my deadlifting without having to worry about somebody yelling at me for dropping the weights on the floor. And here I can do both. So, you know, benefit of a going to a little bit more hardcore type of gym. And this is a. Uh, 160. Yeah, that's 160. And there you see me that I switched over to a push press. And then for my top set of cleans, I'm at 180. Which, I don't know, it actually looks a lot better than it felt. Um, it, like, I don't know about you guys, but for me it's like little tiny ticks. Like, uh, what I don't like is that they let you deadlift on the platforms here, and they should be meant only for a uh, clean. And since the guys are really strong, they'll be dropping, you know, six, seven, maybe eight hundred pounds right on there, and you can't, you can't really see it, but that kind of cracks the wood and makes it so that um, the weights don't roll right. Like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but kind of like cracks in the floor so that it stops it from rolling wherever you want it to roll. And just kind of makes it a little harder to set up. It, it's just a little, little tiny thing that most of the time doesn't matter, but, yeah. There you saw me doing 180 for the push press, but that is a fail. I uh, unfortunately didn't, didn't get it. And that's all right. Then I switched over to deadlifts, um, and, and doing deadlifts where I really notice it more is a problem, uh, that the bar doesn't roll how I want, I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't roll how I want. Anyways, it kind of screws me up just a little tiny bit, but it's, uh, I'd say for now it's negligent. I'm pretty sure you know, if I was stronger, it'd make more of a difference. Um, and right here, pretty much, uh, and technically this is a work set, but, you know, it's 531, it's like all the work sets up to your final one, pretty much they're, they're just warm-ups. Um, deadlifts actually, they felt alright. Uh, I could tell my, uh, my hamstrings are kind of tight, so I'm going to have to do something about that next time. And the bad part too is that I got I had to skip most of my workout today. I was kind of in a rush, so I just uh I just did my main things today: deadlift, clean, front squats, uh, glute ham raises, and I did some kettlebell things, and then I was done. Well, anyway, this is around the part where the video cuts off, so movie's almost over. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you watch. Subscribe if you haven't already.